chapter 2 presentation of data in the exercise 2 here we start the section C as you can see 1 to 6 are all theoretical we'll start the solution from question number 7 find the mid value of each class of the following frequency distribution as you can see the class is given and the frequency is also available and out of this information here they ask you to find out mid value here you can see I just took the tape information from the question and out of this information I am going to find out mid value. Formula to find out mid value is upper limit plus lower limit divided by 2 you will get the value of mid value that is 0 plus 9 divided by 2 you will get 4.5 same with the next 10 plus 24 divided by 2 will be 34 divided by 2 you will get 70 next 25 plus 49 divide by 2 that is 74 divide by 2 here you will get the answer 37 next 50 plus 74 divide by 2 here 50 plus 74 is 124 divide by 2 you will get the answer 62 next 75 plus 100 divide by 2 that is 175 divide by 2 you will get 87.5 so here we found the mid value out of the information given in the question number 7 now we'll go to the next question number 8 for the following distribution given in the above problem find the class length of each class now here the above problem is the question number 7 out of this question number 7 here we are going to find out the class length so first of all I just took the same class and frequency which is given in the question number 9 to, sorry question number 7 just turn to the question number 8 and out of this here first of all we will find out the class length class length means the distance of the class if we count 0 included 0 till 9 we will get the class length of 10. Same if we include 10 till 24, we will get the total number 15, difference of 10 to 24. Then if we count 25 to 20, 49, may it will difficult to assume a 49 directly for the counting. You can assume it as a 50. So 25 or 50 ke bich ka difference will be 25. This is how you can make a quick decision. Then for 50 to 74, rather than taking a 74, count it as a 75. And for 50 to 75, the distance between these two will be again 25. Same for this distance between 75 to 100, that would be 26. Now this is what I shown you was just a simple and easy and the quick method to write down the class length. But if we go with the systematic way with the formula and all, I'll just show you how it will go. For finding class length, just in minus 0 0.5 from this and plus 0 0.5 here, you will get the answer minus 0 0.5 and here obviously the sign will be minus because the value of 9 is more than the 0 0.5. So 9 plus 0 0.5 it would be minus 0 0.5. 5. Here comes minus, here comes just in distance between 0 0.5 to 9.5. Moving to the next, again we will include for the 10 minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5 for 24. So it would be minus 0, uh, minus 0 0.5 with 10, here we will get 9.5 and here 24 plus 0 0.5 will be 24.5. Next, 25. Here get minus 0 0.5 from 25 will get 24.5 and if we add here 0 0.5 with 49 will get 49.5. Again same with here if I get minus with 0 0.5 with 50 here we will get 49.5 and if I add 0 0.5 with 74 it would be like this. So I am just going to continue with this 100.5. Now you can make the distance between these two. 
minus minus will get obviously plus that 0 0.5 plus uh, 9.5 will be the answer 10. Now take your calculator and type 9.5 minus 24.5 surely you will get the answer 15. The first matter which I shown you before it is just a quick answer just to save your time in the examination or this is the actual matter to find out the class length with the putting the formula of the uh, getting minus 0 0.5 and the plus 0 0.5. Moving to the next question. Question number 9. Prepare less than type cumulative frequency distribution from the following. As you can see the observation data is given in the discrete value and the frequency is given. Just take the information into your book. When the observation is given in discrete form, here no need to include 0. You can count directly frequency with 10. The first frequency included 10. The next that is 10 plus 30. Remember this directly uh, first frequency have to copy it when the information is given in discrete value. If it is given in continuous, first less than value will be 0. So because it is discrete, I am just going to continue with the frequency 30, uh, sorry 10 plus 30 plus 30. Moving to the next 10 plus 30 plus 30 plus 20, 10 plus 30 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10. Now just remove the total of this to find out your cumulative frequency. That is 10, 10 plus 30, 40. Here comes 70. Here comes 90. And at the end, 100. Next question, number 10. Demand of certain item is classified as good, moderate and weak. On the basis of study, entire year it is known that the demand was moderate during 22 week whereas the demand was weak during 18 week present the information in a table first of all let's see i just copy the same question into my book just to show you that the classification is done about the demand good moderate and weak then out of this it is given information that it was moderate during 22 week and weak during the 18 week First of all, we have to write down the total. Now, total number of week in a year is 52. Now, out of this, the demand of an item was good, moderate and weak. The thing which is given in the question, the same I just copied as a demand of an item was good, moderate and weak. The total number of week in a year that is 52 that I wrote. Then first of all find out the moderate during 22 week. So moderate was 20 for the 22 week. It was weak for 18 weeks. The demand of a certain item. Now out of the total we already got this two. Just add them to 22 plus 18 will be 40 and 40 minus 52 will be 12. This is how you have to find out or I can write here as well. Here I wrote the moderate week and the total of the week 22 plus 18 minus 52. You will get the number 12. That's what the answer of good. Moving to In question number 11, the table is given and here they give the information to complete this table. First of all, take this table into your book. Now here you can see the attribute A, attribute B and the total is given. First, you can see that 1 plus 2 is equal to total. Now, if we get first information minus with the total, obviously, we will get the information of the second one. That is 200 minus 300, you will get the 100. As you can see, 200 plus 100, the total becomes 300. In the same way, we will continue with the next. Here, you can see the total is 200 and the first information is 100. So, 100 minus 200. Here comes the sub beta of second one is 100. So 100 plus 100 it becomes 200. Now you can add the attribute A total 300 and attribute B total 200 will be the total of the total of both attributes that is 500. 300 plus 200 will be 500. In the same way now here we can see here we don't have both the information only the one single information is there so better we'll move to the attribute 2 
where we can see the sub data of 1 and sub data 2 is already given. So if we add with this 2, obviously we will get the total. So here we get 450. Now out of this, here the sub data of second one and the sub data of the second one of attribute A and attribute B is given. So 400 plus 300 will be the 700 for the total. And if we add the sub data of the total 1 and 2, here we'll get 1000. Now we need the information for this 2. Now you can see the attribute B information is ready and attribute and the total is ready. And still the attribute A is incomplete. Now here we can get sub data of attribute B get minus with the total. Obviously we will get the attribute A that is 150 minus 300 the answer will be 150 and now 150 plus 400 will be the total of attribute a that is 550 now here we can see the total of sub data 1 and the sub data 2 is incomplete so here what we'll do attribute a data and attribute b data get them add that is 200 plus 100 will be the total 300 in the same way here sub data 2 and here sub data 100 plus 100 200 this is how you have to complete for the information given for the table moving to the next question number 16 represent the following data through a bar diagram now here two information is given where is the first information where the years are given hope you remember the information which we have already solved in the exercise 2.3 here again we are going to start the solution by making a bar diagram. Now when the year is given there is no changes have to be made or no rearrangement will be made. Directly the same information will be displayed in the bar diagram. For the bar diagram you just have to prepare x axis and the y axis. The first information which is given the year which will be shown in the on x axis. Don't forget to show the scale that on x axis what you are keeping that is the year. And for the production which has been shown in the crore which will be shown in on y axis that is in the distance of 1 centimeter with 1 crore. So after preparing graph here we will make I will check for 2011 the production is given 3.5. So here for the year first of all write down that 2011, 2012, 13. 14 and 15 which is given in the question now the first information for the year 2011 is the production goes till 3.5 so here we can see the 3 and more than 3 means it will go till 3.5 so till here the bar will come next for 2012 it is 4.2 for the year 2012 will go till 4.2 so here is the 4 We'll just have to take the 2 little distance then the 4. So this is what the distance will show the production of 2012. Next is for 2013 it shows till 5.8. For 2013 here we can see the margin of 5 will go till 8. It would be better when you will use your scale. Next, 2000, for 2014, it is shows till 7.4 production. So, here till 7.4. Here we can see the 7 and 4 will be marked till here. Next, for the year 2015, it will go till 10.2. Here is the 2015 and it will go till 10.2. So, here is the distance. So now I'll just prepare bar diagram. This is what the final look of the bar diagram. And don't forget to write down a number of production on bar. Next, second question. Where the streams of art, commerce, science, engineer and others are given and the number of students. Now for this arrangement, obviously you remember to arrange the first this table and then we'll prepare bar diagram for this question. Here you can see, first of all, write down the question and then make an arrangement the data in the descending order at the maximum will be at the first and the less one will go at the back these changes can only be done when it is given something like streams 
not in the years when it is given. Like in the first question, we solve the years. The years can be arranged, nahi karna hai, but this information, such information should be arranged in the descending order. So after putting all the orders, first prepare x axis and y axis that what you are going to keep on the x axis and what on the y axis. Obviously, the first information of the stream will remain on the x axis and the number of students which we can see are all more than 1000 will remain on the y axis. So by looking at the information, we'll start preparing bar for the bar diagram. For commerce, we can see 10,200. Here you can see the number of students are with the distance of 1000 of 1 centimeter. So first of all, we'll go till 10,000 and take a little more for the 2000, 200, sorry, 10,200. Next for the other, it shows till 8,000. Number of students is till 8,000. So other will move till 8,000. Next for science stream, it is 6,000. Here is the science and here we can see the distance of 6,000 will be much better with the scale as I am using only one single hand, it will little mesh. Next is arts with the 5,900, so almost 6,000 but the little less. So we will keep here 5,900. Next is engineer with the 4,500. Engineering with the 4,500, here we can see the 4 and half of it. Now I will prepare bar for this. Here is the final look for the question number 16, second one with the bar diagram. Moving to the section D.